First of the night session, Finley taking on Southview and the Trojans run out to a six-point lead. Cougars cut that in half with a spot-up triple from Adam Holler. Holler if you make it. Finley, though, right back on another run. 7-0, make it a 10-0 run as Terry and Ross in front of the Southview bench buries the three. Ross at 26, nine-point game in the second in transition. Max Roth throws it down the alley-oop from the senior. And then later in the quarter, Cougars, Micah Bays hands off to Kellen Leak, splits the defender, soft touch, gets the roll, but Finley up 35-26 at the break. Leak trying to mount the comeback in the second half. Count it for two, and then just too much from Finley. Roth the steal, coast to coast. Finley wins with Clemson and Notre Dame football assistant coaches on hand to check out the Montgomery's. In the nightcap, Rossford going up against St. John's. Titans doubled up the Bulldogs to lead 14-7 after one. Adding to it in the second, Justin Toller's soft touch. Rossford would take a timeout, and that would light a fire. Skip pass to Ben Morrison on the wing for three. Yes. Then in transition, Garrett Murphy all alone in the corner. Got it for three more. Seconds left in the first half. It's the big fella, Derek Vorst. Finishes with the two-hand slam. He had 24, 31, 28 St. John's at the half. To the fourth, Titans trying to put this one away. Toller again in the lane, gets the floater to fall. Seven-point game, under three to play. Morrison, no one puts a hand in his face. Buckets, 51, 49, 20 seconds left. Morrison, this time no good, but Brendan Revels with the rebound and one. He would make the free throw to give the Bulldogs the lead, but at the other end, it is C.J. Hornbeek taking it to the rim. Foul is called. He would hit the first. He finished with 23 on the night, but none bigger than that free throw. As Rossford's last second shot, no good. St. John survives 53-52. I feel great. You know, it's a great fight. They're a great team. We know you had to come out and play. And for, the, for me to hit them free throws is very warming, you know. Nope, you know, I just... Just didn't let it get to me. I, in my head, I just knew I was going to make it, and that's what I did. Uh, it means a lot, you know. It's a great feeling. Uh, come out here with my team, play on Emma Code Day. Uh, it was good. Mason Lowry and Darren Cohn had the call and break this pair of games down. Well, the Rossford St. John's game is certainly a fitting end to a great day of basketball here at Rossford. C.J. Hornbeek, the hero, with a couple of late free throws to seal it for the Titans. Absolutely. What a special day. Seven big games. St. John's with a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Rossford battles back to tie the game. And then a late foul with only a couple seconds left on the clock. C.J. had to step to the line and make both to take the lead. And he did that one defensive stop later. Titans were victorious. Yeah, and C.J. Hornbeek, not a great free throw shooter either, just 65% on the season, but he's the guy who wanted the line with the game on the line to knock down a couple of free throws. And from the Rossford side of things, I think the revelation for them this season has been the play of Derek Vorst, Brian Vorst, the head coach's son. He was outstanding tonight, 24 points. We are watching him grow up before our very eyes. The big fella is probably the most improved player in the 419 area code. He's gotten so... Uh, confident around the paint he catches the ball with a good strong base turns and scores he's a willing passer he does a great job of rebounding on both ends of the floor and his defensive awareness and presence changes shots all over the place causing problems for the opponent's offense before the St. John's Rossford game, we got to see Finley and Southview go head-to-head, -head, and Terrion Ross was the tone setter immediately for the Finley Trojans. Here's a guy that averages just 7.5 points per game. He had 26 tonight, <laughs> 17 in the first half. Number three, baby. He was having a day today. He was so proud of himself after the game. He got it going early on in transition, got to the basket, got few, fouled a few times, made his free throws, and then he was feeling real good, knocked in a few threes, and he kept it going throughout the game, defending, playing hard, just sprinting the floor, getting to his spots, and it really showed up for him on the scoreboard tonight. That's all from here after the second annual MLK Showcase at Rossford.